it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Venom. It's going to be in a different pose and it's going to be just his head. Uh, like People really like Venom so on this channel so I'm going to draw more poses of him. He's going to be up, looking up kind of at an angle and uh, more or less with his mouth open as usual. So This is going to be relatively easy but honestly I'm going to call this an intermediate drawing. So because uh, people get mad, they're like, ah, it's not as easy as you said it was. Like, okay, so let's set, make it intermediate, all right? Let's get started. <sighs> I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to start with uh, Venom's eye, the eye that's going to be closest to us, because he's going to be turning away from us. But I'm going to start with a curve like that for the front of the eye. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to slowly drag the line down. Downward here, the front, up over here, kind of wiggly in the top of the eye. Curve underneath, over here, and then curve underneath here. So he's looking off to the right, at least uh, as far as we're concerned, he's looking to the right. Gonna go pull across a line across right here for the top of that top and the front of the head a little bit. And we're gonna catch the other side of the eye right here. Curve. Curve over here. So you have the far side eye, you can see a lot less of it. Now I'm going to draw his, I'm going to go down here just a bit for the front here. And I'm going to start the lip line. It's going to curve, it's going to round its way like that up over here. <laughs> Gonna go over here to the back of the head. Pulling down to the back of the neck. Before that though, we're gonna go into the teeth and I'm gonna pull down here for the tooth. Another triangle and I'm gonna throw a row of varying sized triangles. Like so. So you hit the edge. Then I'm going to go over here and draw the back side over here of triangles. Now that I see these triangles, I'm going to close them off. See right there, like that? Each tooth is going to go into the gum line. It's going to close off most of these. Like so. And I'm going to open the mouth here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the tongue out, down, and kind of make it longer than I would think. That's always like a big thing. It's like you always make it a little bit longer than you think because uh, then it kind of looks cool. Go down here. I'm going to pull the line down down over here at the bottom of the jaw, curve, and then I'm going to do spikes over here, like right here, spikes over here, <laughs> curve, for kind of the, the split in the tongue here. And I'm going to go over here and give the tongue some volume. Right? Give it some space, some volume there so it's big enough. I can do the exact same thing I did over here. Embed these in some... Uh,
And I'm gonna embed these inside of, uh, you know, like the gum line. Gonna go down here, curve, curve up. Down over here, curve, back over here. So it hits the back of the jaw there. Line over here, down. Line over here, out for the shoulder here. Over here, it's gonna roll into the, the shoulder out, out there. Um, I'm gonna pull a line underneath for the open mouth. Over here for the Adam's apple area. And another line over here for this cord called the sternocleidomastoid. Over here as well. It's cord that goes kind of from the back of the ear area. And it goes down into the pit of the neck. All right, while we're here, I'm gonna fill in the negative part of the drawing here, meaning the inside. Well, I don't think that's usually what it means, but um, basically the inner mouth. Right here. Maybe draw a thicker line over here. With the split of the mouth just a little bit. Line over here. I'm gonna put a darkness over here, below the lip, but on the top of the gums, like the like the upper lip is causing a shadow pattern on the gums. It'll make it look a lot better. Line over here, line over here. Line around here, line around here. Here, here. And everything from here on is really just detail. You can draw thin lines here to kind of create a little bit of dimension. But that is it. That is another version of Venom. He's kind of like, rawr, like he's kind of like looking up and kind of angling up right there. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you like this, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I post three videos every single weekday. I post a lot of video tutorials to teach you how to draw your favorite characters. Um, yeah, just uh, if, you, if you like that stuff, you, if you like being able to have that stuff on hand, hit that subscribe. There's no downside to it and click that bell notification. Uh, make today the day that you actually subscribe. Thank you so much, I'll talk to you next time. Uh, stick around for the announcements of my full courses. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really wanna kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime, I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site, see everybody else's lessons. And normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month. Um, because you're watching this video right now, if you're still watching right now, you get it for free for at least a month, like 30 days. That's a lot. 
um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video, go down first link in the description, the very, very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days. Um, you just go over here, you click this thing, boom, and then you sign up. Um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later and uh, hopefully I'll see, I'll catch you over there later. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're going to see my most recent upload and on the top corner over here, you're going to see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome and I'll see you next time.